Good morning, my wonderful friends. It is so lovely to see you. I hope you are doing well. Let me know, how are you doing in the comments? Today, I thought I would do a Christmas gift guide. It's currently mid-November. We've got Black Friday coming up. I don't know about you, but I like to be organized and have things done as soon as I possibly can. Am I organized this year? No, we have got a pretty wild Christmas this year. Some of you may or may not know, but we are actually flying to Australia for Christmas <laughs> because our trip in 2020 got cancelled. This is our um, belated trip. Oh my goodness me, but the things that I have to remember and do uh, quite overwhelming <laughs> but I thought I would do a Christmas gift guide hopefully I have got some gifts that are fabulous for people with chronic illnesses and disabilities they're things that I use I love I know that if I was given them I'd be well chuffed um, and hopefully they will suit all budgets and just give you some inspiration as well. Down below um, I've put some links or some phrases to search for the items. None of them are affiliate links but if I have given you some joy, some value or you have used the links then please feel free to leave a little thanks, a little donation. Mm, my coffee's a bit cold now. Right, let's start with some gifts. This wasn't officially going to be in the gift guide, but I just wheeled past it and realized how much I absolutely love this. And I think it would make a great gift for anybody, especially those people that are really hard to buy for. It's a barometer. It tells me the moon phase, the air pressure. It also tells me um, if the tide is high or low because you know, <laughs> I might want to set sail somewhere. Oh my goodness, <laughs> my heart just dr jumped. Oh, look at this. I genuinely thought that was a real spider, but those are some decorations left over from Halloween. Oh God, I hate spiders, I hate them so much. But we're gonna move on to my next um, item that I think is a perfect gift. And I know um, lots of you um, have been asking me about this. This is my sad light, my seasonal affective disorder light. So it's supposed to be like a daylight. So when the clocks change and it goes really dark and gloomy here, we can sometimes get a little bit sad and not as motivated because we don't get as much sunlight. Um, so I've been wanting to invest in a sad light for years. And then finally last year, this was on sale and I bit the bullet and I got it and I highly recommend anybody who's thinking about it who feels like they can benefit from a sad light do it because I feel like this has definitely made a difference um, before I just felt a bit low and just not quite almost like I had lost my sparkle. Do you know what I mean? And then as soon as like March comes around and the sun comes out and it's just generally brighter in the UK, I started to feel better and had a better self worth about me. So this is by a brand called Bura. I'm gonna put it on. So if you don't wanna see a light, turn away and I'll tell you when it's off. <laughs> it's incredibly bright. Um, and the light is off now. And it really helps because our lounge gets so, so dark and gloomy in the winter because we have so many large trees around. Um, it's also really, really light as well. So it's really, really like easy to maneuver. You do have to plug it in, but it's easy to carry around with you. And there is just like a touch sensitive pad there to turn it on. So it's really, really easy to use. Um, it is a little bit pricey, but I have seen this is on sale at the moment. When this video comes out, hopefully it will still be on sale or just Google that brand or even any sort of sad light that you think could help you. But it definitely gets the thumbs up from me. In my lounge, of course, you'll recognize this room. I've had to put my um, filming lights on because as I said, it just gets so dark in here. But this leads me very nicely into the next item, which is just a must. I think everybody in the world needs one of these. Some of you will have seen this before. Oh, and of course it's faux, don't worry. Um, it is an electric blanket. Honestly, it is the best thing 
ever that anyone has ever bought me. And honestly, after a long day out, when it's really cold and really yucky outside and you come home, and you put this blanket on, you are honestly living the dream. You know you've arrived when you've got an electric blanket. The faux fur ones are a little bit more expensive, and unfortunately this year they have gone up in price as well, of course, um, but you can get fleece ones, so they're more like the fleece on the inside of this blanket, but honestly, uh, amazing for anybody with a chronic illness or a disability a hot water bottle or even those like beanie animals that you can put into the microwave the microwave is actually really quite cheap to run and a really good way of heating things up probably cheaper than using a kettle but don't quote me on that i'm doing hot water bottles all the time at the moment and it's not even that cold here in the uk but makes such a lovely thoughtful gift i think these make a fantastic stocking filler they're called hot hands and you can get them for hands to go in your pockets and you can get inner sole ones to go into your shoes and i've only been using them for um a few years but honestly they help me a lot you do have to be careful especially if you have a spinal cord injury and you may not have very good sensation or you've got any sort of issues around that definitely use them at your own discretion because they do get really really hot but if you can use them game changer <laughs> The next one is not gonna be for everybody and I do know that it is very expensive, but it is amazing. <laughs> and it's the Dyson hair dryer. I got this last year for my birthday from Sean. Um, he nearly died <laughs> when he found out how much it was. And to be honest with you, I didn't know that it was that much. Um, they are expensive, but well worth it um if you have sort of like um autism and you're very or something like that and you're very sensitive to noise what i love about the dyson hair dryer is it is a lot quieter than conventional hair dryers also all of the weight of the hair dryer is in the handle so it feels so light and it's really really easy to use it blows pretty hard so you don't have to raise your hands up over your head when you're drying your hair also the grip um, is quite large it's really nice and easy to hold on to and I have been really happy with it the reason I chose this as a birthday present last year is because I really want to be quite mindful of the gifts that I asked for um, I really want things that I'm going to use or that I need. Um, I don't want to just waste it on things unnecessarily. Um, and a hairdryer is something that I use every other day. Um, and I've always had really crap hairdryers. I have used travel hairdryers up until I got this one. Um, so I thought, you know what? Maybe I deserve it. <laughs> but yeah, it, if you can, it would make such a fantastic gift. Let me know, do you have the Dyson hairdryer or have you tried the Dyson Air app or anything like that? What do you think? Do you think it is worth the money? Ever heard of Neom Organics? Um, I don't know if they do them overseas, um, but the person that I get them through does ship overseas and their products are amazing they are a little bit more pricey but they have genuine um essential oils in them and they smell divine i love um the sleep range um and this body butter i asked for last year and it's moisturizing and it also has magnesium in it as well to help with muscle aches and pains and it's just divine and anything from neom organics would make a lovely gift Here's another stocking filler idea for you. Every wheelchair user, correct me if I'm wrong, um, needs these. These are a pair of thermal socks, but I have the worst circulation. I'm dead from the knees down. <laughs> There's no pulse in my foot. <laughs> um these particular socks thermal socks they come up to my knees um they keep me really warm and toasty they're from marks and spencer and they're super super soft and they're clean as well while i'm rubbing them on my face um but i also got some from a 
um, a skiing shop um, with wool in them which can be really really good here they are they're very very um bobbly i know wool is not for everybody um but they are really great at keeping my feet warm um there's also ones called heat Gen socks I think they are um, I'll see if I can find a link to them they do them in garden centres and they're super super soft and fluffy inside I love them let me know what thermal socks you're wearing at the moment because I'm always on the hunt for something new how about a salt rock lamp could make a great under the tree gift um, they do come in all different price ranges so you can get candle tea light holders which I've got downstairs and this is a plug-in lamp that we got Daisy last year. They are great for people with chronic illnesses, they can help with migraines, they can purify the air, they kind of work as a dehumidifier as well. Not only that, they're really nice and warm and cosy. At night when Daisy puts it on in here it just feels really really lovely. Now loads of wheelchair users will be happy with this. This is a Fora um, little bag, this is the active bag. And this one here is the essentials bag, I think. I have done a video all about these, so go and check those out. But these are bags that can attach to your wheelchair. They're so handy. I use this one every single day. Um, this one is for special occasions. I've also got a cup holder as well. Um, and it would just make a fantastic gift. Um, however, I have seen, I think it's called the Handy Cup, and I think it's a little bit more affordable. Um, so I'll see if I can leave some pictures on the screen of that solution, because that might be a good option for some of you out there as well. I'd love to give one a go. Let me know if you've tried it and how you found it. Don't forget, gifts don't have to be physical. Um, you could buy someone a subscription to a magazine that they may be interested in, or even a National Trust membership, which is amazing for disabled people because your carer gets to come for free. Um, there's lots of different ideas. I know something that I would love is maybe like a month subscription to something like Gusto or HelloFresh. Um, that would help me with my meals. Um, or, you know, you could offer someone your time if you're able to, to help them do something. Or you could give to charity in someone's name as well. Or, I know there are lots of you out there that are very crafty and creative, you could always make someone something which can mean a lot more um, to someone than just buying a gift. Out of all of the gifts that I have shown you today, which one has been your favourite? Which one is on your list? Or which one do you use? Make sure also to put your ideas for gifts for disabled and chronically ill people down below. I have covered a lot here today, but I'm sure I may be covering more over on my socials, TikTok, Instagram, and all those kind of places. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.